The approach that most people take is, I think you should come down and I want you to book an appointment and I want to see you when you come back off holiday. You're assuming that I want to come and see you. And until you have that conversation with me, I probably won't. But I whole, wholly agree that if somebody come down, I just want a quick fix. No, I only want one or two things. That's all right. That's no problem at all. Like, I'm, I'm going to sort this out for you. But let me ask you this. Do you want this to keep going on? Stop. And you must stop. Okay. The questions will change literally your life that you ask. They'll change their life as well. That, that a lot of people just don't ask the question. It's, I want you to come back and see me. And I think you should come back and see me. But you're telling me. You're not empowering me. You're not getting me to, to kind of dance with you side by side. You're dragging me and you're telling me and, and I'm riding on your, you know, you're a, you're a healthcare professional and yeah, I know you're right. But until you get me to face up to it, I, I ain't coming down. And I'd, I, again, it's a confidence thing. I'd be open to if they go, no, all right. G g just give me a ring in a few weeks when this happens again. There's the express card to, to, to book back in. And then over a period of time it is, right, are you ready yet? No, all right, see you in a couple of weeks. Literally, it happened with me with the, with the dentist for years. He's like, you ready to get this tooth sorted? I was like, no, no, just keep drilling it, just keep doing whatever. He's like, all right, and then eventually he goes, look, I, let me ask you about your life. Uh, you, you live in America now, or you're in and out of America? I said, yeah. So have you ever thought about what would happen if, uh, if that tooth went off while you, you know, a day before you had to speak on stage or you're in the middle of bloody Arizona and you didn't know where the dentist was? I was like, book me in. <laughs> it just changed the conversation. That, that, that completely, by the way, changed the relationship I have with my teeth. Because he made me realize how valuable this is. That it isn't just about the tooth. It's about the situation I'm in mean, in my life. If the tooth fucks up, if I have a problem, to the point where now I'm going in on, 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 on Saturday morning to get three fillings taken out and put back in just because they've been in long enough that they're going to start out soon. Let's just get it done before it does. But you're talking to a guy who for five years was like, no, 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 little as possible. Just drill it. I'll be back if it's a problem. I was the classic, just quick fix me. One conversation, one question really, I could pin it, pinpoint the two, that there was a, a, a moment where it changed where I went, I get this now. I get it. But if he hadn't been following me on social media, he would never have knew to ask that question and I reckon I'd have still been going in and out with quick fixes. Always, just, just drill this thing or fucking put it over rather than taking the thing out, which was obviously what it needed and putting something else back in or whatever. Now I'm going into him going, all right, which one we taking out next? Which, which one is gonna rot next? Because one of them's gonna, he's gonna, well that one. I'm like, right, I'm back in there, let's get them done. Back in Saturday morning, 700 quid or whatever it's gonna cost to get it done. But he changed the way that I view him and what he does for my life from being a guy who looks after my teeth to a guy who stops me being in the shit the night before having to speak on stage or in the middle of somewhere that I don't trust this dentist to rip my eyes out and take three teeth out when I only needed something to do it. You've got that version with the patient going on. And it's one question that unlocks it. And it's the confidence to do it. The confidence to say, what do you want? All right, come back when you're ready. And they'll actually respect you more for it. And, and the relationship would go into one of, yeah, I know you're right. I'm just not quite ready yet. All right, come back in a couple of months. Thanks for watching this video. And if you found it helpful, and if you now find yourself thinking, I wonder what else this person can help me with, head over to paulgoff.com forward slash books, where you can find my best selling books, which will show you how to add more profit to your practice. Or send an email to paul at paulgoff.com to ask about how we can help you accelerate the growth and profitability of your clinic. And by the way, if you know anybody who would find this helpful, please share this video out. Thanks so much.